Hey everybody, it's Carrie the Paper Monkey. I hope y'all are all doing well. I am here today with a hashtag collaboration from Jennifer at Scrapbooks and Memory. This is a month over month thing that she created, she developed, and the hashtag is hashtag ephemera madness 24. We're in April, so for April's prompt, it's spring. And I love this. Um, uh, spring is a new season, as we all know, and it's just, um, I don't know about you guys, but man, when spring comes, I usually, just instinctually, I start cleaning stuff out. Spring cleaning is a thing for me, and I love to spring clean and organize and, and things like that. I know I'm, I'm kind of, probably kind of weird, but with that, I wanted to do two different quick projects. I wanted to take How to Be a Wildflower. This screams spring to me, this book. I love this book. If you guys don't have this book, I should do a, a, bo a hashtag bolo books on this book. It is fabulous. This book is a, it, I'll just show you some of the visuals in it. I got mine off eBay. Um, they have them on thrift books. I mean, they're, they they carry this quite a bit. So um, go check it out if this is something you would be interested in. The pages in here are matte, and they're they're pretty thick. They're not they're not thin paper, right? And it is it's a fun book. I mean, look, doesn't that just look at the like April showers is what that reminds me of. Just, it's fun, fun. Katie Daisy uh, wrote this book, and Katie Daisy's still around. She has coloring books and all kinds of stuff if you wanna if you wanna go check her out. Anyway, I thought today what we would do is I would take this page spread. I'm gonna do, like I said, two different projects. I'm trying to do these online. So I'm gonna cut this, this page out. Now, if you're squeamish about altering books, then this is not going to be the video for you, okay? Then I'm going to take this page. Oop, oop, oop. I wanted to go straighter than that. I'm going to take this page. And look how lovely that is. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to take my handy tandy cutter here. Again, Jennifer's at Scrapbooks and Memories. And oh, I didn't even mention to you, Jennifer's a Louisiana girl like me. Yeah, we met uh, at a live on YouTube. And when she did this challenge, I was like, absolutely, I have to support my, my YouTube family. I'm wondering, kind of what I was wondering, I want to make a tag. This I want to make into a tag. So what I might do, yep, this is exactly what I'm gonna do with this. Okay, now on this one, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do on this one. I'm gonna make this into an envelope. That's what I wanna do with that one. Oh shoot, nothing like live TV folks. But you know, if you don't know this, you can make an envelope very easily. Uh, <laughs> only glue is really required to be honest with you but you have to start with a square so whatever the square is so this is five and a little bit let's say mm -hmm. why'd I gotta be hard that's five and a half it's not quite five and three quarters if I move it over a little bit maybe Mm -mm, still not. I'm going to cut it down to five and a half is what I'm going to do. Yes, I know. Let me, let me do it right here. I'm off camera for just a second, guys. Let me, because it really, if it's not a square, it won't, it'll be janky. <laughs> like a lot of my stuff is already. Okay, so that's five and a half. Let's make sure. Measure twice, cut once. Okay, five and a half. And then if I do this, yeah, let me see. I'm gonna, I'll mark on the back side of it. Even though this side is so pretty, I need to order another one of these books. Don't you think? Don't you think I need another one? <laughs> I think I need another one. And another one and another one. 
Oops, okay. Let's see. I hope everybody's doing well. First Monday of April is when we load our videos. Look how pretty. I could use that for something. Um, yeah, on this, on, in this collaboration, you upload the first Monday of every month, and then you just follow whatever the applicable prompt is for that month. You use the hashtag, hashtag Ephemera Madness 24 in your description, and just tag Jennifer so she can go check it out. Yeah. So you see how we have a perfect square? Okay. Now I'm going to get my glue. Got my little glue. Watch how easy this is. I've done this before. So many people have done this. This is not, not an original idea. Okay. I, I copied somebody along the way. In fact, let me show you this. In case you've never seen a centering ruler, this has changed my life. Thank you, Hazel Anaka. Okay. Thank you so much, Hazel Anaka. I'll do it on this side. It may not be quite as busy. So to find this, again, a centering ruler, this is in my Amazon uh, affiliates links if you're interested, seven, eight dollars, something like that. But this is a game changer, okay? Here's your center. All you have to do is line up either side to be the exact same number, right? So this is... We're at four here, a little less than four. We're almost there, corner to corner. That one, mm -mm. four. Boy, that one's a toughie, huh? A little less. Uh, yeah, I think, well, it's not quite, huh? I think that's it, y'all. And then, so I'm going to make, I should have turned it over. I have to make a light mark. And then you do the same thing this way, if you wanted to, if you wanted to be that exact. And we might as well, since we're, we're here. It should... If I cut it right, yep, should come out the same. Okay, very good. So here is, yep. And see, again, I should have done it on this side, but it's okay. Watch. So you just take, you meet them in the middle, and then get your bone folder. Nothing like being prepared, people. Nothing like being prepared <laughs> for such an easy craft. Okay, fold that down, and then you would fold this up. I mean, this this simple. I have been fascinated with this since the first time I saw Hazel and Naka do it. And again, I know, listen, I know there are many people out there in the world who make envelopes like this. I'm just saying, Hazel was the first person I saw do it with no tool, no punch board, no tool. So, now when you glue, don't do like I did the first few times and glue all the way up here, okay, where you glue in this point right here. Because when you do that and you mash it down, it's going to glue it shut, okay? You can glue on this side of the tab. Just put you a little spot, a little spot right here. And then that way that flap will be glued down. Right, there's your envelope, and then you can just go and do that. If you wanted to add an embellishment, look, I just found these at the Dollar Tree. They're putting out their springtime flower stickers. I like the flat ones. I do. I like the flat ones. So if you wanted to, um, well, let's just put one. How about that? Let's just put one on here. Daffodils, a few little daffodils. Let's see. Let's get the right size. You want something like that, like that. Oh, let's do this one. And again, when it's a Dollar Tree sticker, I usually, not that they don't stick, because they do, they have they have some pretty good adhesive. But if I'm putting it on an envelope or a tag when I know it's gonna be, you know, held uh, and uh, 
taken in and out of a journal, I will usually put just an extra little dab of glue. And there you go. And again, if you wanted to, you could have cut a little little notch right there. You can absolutely put like some type of little tab if you want. Like, uh, let's see. Like, let's say, for example, if I wanted to do, if I wanted to do this, I, I could have that tab there. So it would, um, well, let's just do it. How about that? Let's just do it. This is a whale's tail too, by the way. I would gotten a punch. Uh, Karen Bloom had gifted me with a punch a long time ago. Not a long time ago, but she had gifted me with one. God bless her heart. I have had so much fun with this thing. And let's just glue around the edge so that the top stays open. And then I'm just gonna put it down here. And then that way, fuck crooked. Another crooked thing from the paper monkey. Go figure. Hm. Well, you know, it wouldn't be mine if it wasn't crooked. Gosh, dog it. Anyway, so you get the concept, right? So spring has sprung here in Louisiana. Um, now this, I was going to cut this, but you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to fold it over, actually. I think I'm going to make this pretty simple. Because it looks like it'll work just like that. Right? Again, I folded that crooked. It's all right, because I think I'm going to cut some of this off. I think I'm going to cut this bottom piece off just a little bit. I think it's a bit long. Okay. Yeah? Oh, and you know what I didn't get? Shoot. Did not get any ribbon. But, you know, I know what we can do. Watch. Should I glue that shut? We'll go ahead and glue it. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and glue it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and glue it. Okay. I'll lay that down. How about that? Oh, I know what we can do. Let's do this. Hold on a second. Make my little, right? About like that. And then, how about this? We'll just use the other part of that whale's tail. I'm sorry if I went in screen, guys. And then, happy accident, you have a coordinating envelope and tag from uh, two book pages. That's it. It's easy peasy, huh? And y'all know I like, I really do. I don't gravitate to anything that's too hard. And I love instant gratification projects. So there you go. That That is my contribution to April's hashtag ephemera madness 24. Jen, I hope I made you proud. Um, and again, here's the, I will have all of this information listed in the description of this video. So if you guys are interested, please join in. It's really, it has been a lot of fun doing this because it is so simple. It's not very complicated and it doesn't take a whole lot of time as you can see. So I hope whatever it is you get to do today or in the next few days, it is at least as much fun as I have had making and sharing this with you guys today. Thanks, guys. We'll chat soon. Bye.